yeah, and that was, I don't know, I wasn't listening to the song, and I can't tell you what the time is because someone stood in the way of the clock. So, But I would imagine that you have some kind of clock in your bedroom or in your car, whatever, so you could probably tell me what the time is. <laughs> anyway, um, I am lucky. I didn't think he was going to turn up because it's quite late, but he did. And he sat here, he sat right next to me. It's quite weird, because I just used to watch you as a small oh, child. Now have here. You You look slightly different than you did then. I think your hair was, I don't know, probably blonde then, would you uh, call it? Well, I, I suppose that... Uh, from anyway, come a bit nearer to the mic. Right, sure. Actually, I'd better say who you are, because I haven't right, done sure. that. Okay, oh. I am lucky enough to be joined on this beautiful evening, beautiful summer evening, with a radio, says here, a radio legend. The radio legend that is... Chuck Hyde. Sir Jimmy Savile. Chuck Hyde. Well, I... I answered the call, came down yeah. from uh, round here in Leeds. Anyone from Leeds listening came down uh, this week. Round Hay Park. And as you know, that's right. Yeah. Came down to see you, Matt, Sir Matt of Berry. <laughs> and you. <laughs> Not yet. You know, what, you want to ask me a few questions, am I right? About yeah, because. Presenting. Exactly, the, because I've, I haven't done too many of these. I've done four or five. It's just. After like sort of half an hour, I haven't got a clue what to do all next. Right, well, well, first you of know all, what I mean? So but first of all, let me say thanks so much for having me down there. I am flattered. I've been uh, broadcasting for something like, and this is no word of a lie, something like 45 years of broadcasting. Yeah, I'm sure. And I am delighted to still be a part of this setup, the, the digital age, I suppose you'd call it, Matt. Yeah. Uh, so it's nice to be here. Now, whether I can help you, because as you know, I have worked with all the greats, uh, Radio 1, Radio 2, oh, goodness, yeah. all of them. Okay. And, and there's lots of, lots of people that I can draw experience from to try and help you uh, no, this sure. evening. Okay, no, it was, <laughs> I guess what... <laughs> was that was bad a mouthful, wasn't it? No, yeah, that was. No, 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 but that, no, that's great. Um, yeah, so it's just, I guess, some advice, Right. really. Though, though to be honest with you, uh, Sir Jim, I know what I don't want to do, if that makes sense. You don't want to call me sense. Sir Jim, you can call me Jimmy. That's right, Jim. We won't stand on ceremony. All right, That's okay. what you can do for a, for a kick-off. Just okay. call me Jim. I know the kind of stuff that I hate that I hear right. on the radio. What's that? Well, I hate cheesy competitions and just naff nonsense. They, you know, I used to hear a lot of it on Radio 1. And even as a kid, right. I knew that it was pony. Do you know what I mean? Well, like, <laughs> well I first I was to use words like pony back in, in those days. But I'll take your point. Pony as in crap. Right, well... Uh, See, I didn't well, say the C word. No, no, that's because... right. No. Um, to answer your question, uh, it's very important that y you don't just fill the show with competitions. But for those people who are entering the competition, of course it's thrilling. So, what you're trying to fill the show with, uh, wacky features, uh, good music, No, jokes. that's the thing. Nothing wacky. Well, well, uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know what to say. What word do you use now instead of wacky? But you know what I mean? Something crazy, something mad, something that, uh, you know, pricks, pricks your conscience, pricks your, pricks your conscience, what am I talking about? You know, pricks, <laughs> pricks up your ears. Pricks up your ears, pricks up your interest. Actually, no, let's do it this way around. I don't want those kind of things. I'm not interested right, in you that don't kind want, of thing. Uh, you don't want competitions. You don't want wacky. jokes. No. Wacky. You don't want anything mad. Uh, not, not sure what you're doing in this <laughs> industry. Uh, Matthew, we'll say. I guess what I'm trying to say is, how do you sustain an hour or so without having to resort to uh, naff games right. and well, I'm not didn't whack, say, whack oops? Uh, I don't know if this is all that interesting for people listening. Oh, that's the problem. Do you want to talk about it now? Well, it's not well, really. Of course, no. Come on. Right, it's just as I, I came down on the train. First of all, I thought there'd be someone meeting me. You got me in here. I'm not being uh, disrespectful to anybody listening, but I'm not sure it's the sort of thing that people necessarily want to know at this time of night on the radio. To be honest with you, I thought that I was here to talk about what I'm doing now, not necessarily what you're doing, you see, Matthew. <laughs> so... I think you've slightly misunderstood as well. I'm not interested in speaking about me. I'm just interested in how you, somebody would feel... Well, I've attempted to answer some of that. Now, it seems to me we started off on slightly the wrong foot. Can we start again? <laughs> well, we can't start again, no, because we're live. Right. You say Round Hay Park. This is something else that I wanted to bring up. I don't know if I can bring this up, but I quickly looked on the internet. Um, I found a picture that is up there, and every everyone can look, of yourself, the Yorkshire Ripper. Oh, no, don't be. And 
Frank Bruno. I don't know what he's talking about. Yes, you do. I suggest you, you know, stop talking. It was a charity not... thing in Broadmoor. Anyone can have a look at this. And there's it's a picture ridiculous. of Frank Bruno shaking hands with the Yorkshire Ripper and you're stood watching on. Now, you mentioned, you also mentioned Leeds Roundhay Park. Ridiculous. And no, I'm sorry, I'm not going to. One of the, one of the Ripper... One of the Ripper fixings was actually found on Leeds Roundhay Park. So what are you, you're saying that I have something to do with uh, the Yorkshire Ripper? I wouldn't dare say anything like well, that. Well, uh, you know, frankly, that would be. I think it's probably best if we don't we don't talk about any this sort of thing. You know, you, you, I, I came down here to talk about you know uh, the, the Radio One Road Show. No, you're right. Those you're are right. some of the things we talked. The Radio okay, One Road yeah. Show, Smiley Marley's Marriage Game. Some of the uh, you know best features on on Radio One. Okay. Some of the lovely stuff we used to do. Uh, Adrian Just, uh, Whispering Bob Harris, and you want to talk about Peter Sutcliffe? Adrian I don't Just. see. I don't. I don't. I don't really see the the connection, Matthew. No, I know. I'm sorry. I think it's probably best if we. All right. Let's, okay. No. Let's absolutely. Outrageous. Let's forget that. Let's let's go. On. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's gracious. talk about the road show and Adrian Just. Adrian Just on. used to do. If I might interrupt, Adrian Just used to do a lovely. <laughs> Well, that's just... No, go on. Adrian Just. Adrian Just used to. If I came on your show and was bel- belching... I'm I, sorry. I, I'm, I, I'm not sure anybody at home is finding <laughs> belching funny. Absolutely disgraceful. No. Right, if I might finish. Uh, basically, I did a lot of work with Adrian Just and what, what his... His job was. I can see you're not listening. I am listening. You, I'm... You're, you're belching. You're making uh, comments that I have something to do with, a, a, well, a serial killer well, in, in Yorkshire in the seventies. I think it's probably best to believe it. Forget that. I, I said that we should forget that. No. Well, you said you, I didn't about... bring it up. I didn't bring that up, and that's absolutely disgraceful. As you know, I am. A, a, I've done a lot of public service, and yes, I have met uh, um, uh, Frank Bruno. I've never met Peter Sutcliffe, and that's absolutely disgusting. Well, then, someone's done a pretty good Photoshop, then. Anyway, like I say, I didn't really want to talk about that myself, but we, you know, that just happened to stumble on that. Uh, You're a prammy. You're a prat. I can see that I've... I've absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I've wound you up. Excuse me. One. We can... Oh, well, let, let's... Jimmy, yeah, please. Let's... let's talk about something that you want to talk... Well, that's it. I don't think we're... He's gone. He's walked downstairs. We're no further forward with that, because all I wanted to do was say, how do you fill time? And I guess that's one way of filling time. It's not what I had planned, and I'm sure it's not what he had planned either. Um, anyway, here's Bronski Beat and Small Town Boy.